Hey, what's up, guys? Mike Lag here. Thanks for tuning in to this video blog. Funny thing here, I'm on my way home. I get home and I realize my wife has my key. And so I have to wait for her to get home for another 20 minutes or so. Uh, so I thought, you know what? I have my iPhone here. I'm just going to shoot a video blog. Anyway, um, I wanted to, I've been thinking about this the last few days and I thought I was going to shoot a video on this anyway. And this is a topic of, of, learning through trial and error or the importance of you know understanding this concept of, of the best way to learn something the best way to learn web design the best way to learn web development is by trial and error is, is there's no substitution in terms of putting your head down getting in the trenches and actually working on a process and through that through that or working on a project and through that process you're going to come across answers, the important answers that um, you probably wouldn't know or wouldn't um, think about when you're not working on a project. And those answers or those problems will come up and you will search your Google and then you will go to certain blog posts that have answers on that and you will find your answers and um, you will um, begin to learn. And the reason why this is the, why I'm even talking about this is I've been busy the last few weeks working on a project. We literally head down throughout the day, no time to check, you know, voicemail, email, uh, Twitter, and all those things. I've been head down working on a project, working on a deadline, and trying to complete this project uh, for this company I'm working with. And I've been learning so much just by putting my head down and, you know, in the trenches. Um, you learn so much because when a, when a problem comes up and I need to complete a certain thing, a, a certain, you know, um, I need to find out about a certain CSS code, I go and search that on Google and then I get that answer, you know, versus, and then there's, you know, that times, you know, there's 50 other things that, you know, you learn just by doing those things. And the, the, the opposite is when you're on the sidelines, when you're just on the sidelines, you're not working on a project and you're just browsing the web, you're browsing Twitter, you're browsing YouTube. Um, a lot of that can be irrelevant in a, in a, in a sense that um, you're just kind of consuming tons and tons of information, but you're actually not putting it to use. You know, it's sort of like, um, uh, you know, when you're learning to play or you're wanting to learn to play a guitar, you can watch the guys, you know, show you how to put your fingers and things like that on the strings and how to, you know, how to, uh, you know, play the guitar. But until until you pick up the guitar and try to actually set out a, you know, set the goal of actually trying to complete a song, um, you really won't know what things you're doing bad, what things you need to improve on and things like that. So uh, in this video, I just really want to stress the importance of, um you know, getting in the trenches and learning through trial and error. If you're on the sidelines, if you if you kind of look at what you've been doing over the last, you know, several weeks, um, if you've been on the sidelines just sort of browsing Dribbble or about browsing YouTube, um, you know, browsing, you know, different blog posts, you know, give yourself a project. Give yourself a project to design. Give yourself a project to code. And then take, you know, that step over the next couple of weeks to actually go through and complete that project and during that project you will you know so many things will come up you will you know go to Google and search that and find answers on that okay so um, that's my advice to those of you who look for me um, for mentorship and you're just now getting started and you need some advice you know that's my advice to you obviously if you don't know the ropes you actually need to learn the ropes you know I have a training course on my website um, you can visit my website and check that out. And once you learn the fundamentals, you're going to have to put that to good use and actually work on a project and then learn through trial and error. All right, so if you have any questions, uh, hopefully this is just a little spare of the moment video that I thought I'll shoot here waiting in my car for my wife uh, to bring me my key so we can get in the house. And uh, But I thought I'd share some hopefully helpful advice to those of you. Um, um, that that could use it. All right. So thanks for watching this video. Hope all is well with everyone. Thanks so much for those of you who watch my videos, who send me emails all the time. I appreciate everything. It's um, it uh, it's nothing more gratifying than getting emails and 
and all the the feedback positive feedback that I get from my YouTube videos and um, you know my web design training course so thanks a lot and uh, we'll be talking soon bye